Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here today with the Dickinson Commando. Uh, it's a 12 gauge shotgun chambered in two and three quarter or three inch shells. Not bad. Very, for the price of it, it's $300. It's very a budget shotgun. Um, very nice features. Nothing with, all, nothing with all the heat shield, Picatinny rails. Nice sight. All, all this stuff is very light. I think around six pounds, it says it's supposed to be. Um, I'll have to check that up. But um, very has a very nice pad in the buttstock. You definitely need this because it's a very light shock and you're gonna get hit pretty hard. Definitely with your with your uh, slugs. So um, put some rounds in it and uh, send it down range and see how it goes. <laughs> Two and three quarter shot shells, uh, one buck. Send these down range. So this model does only hold four in the in the tube and one in the chamber for a total of five. There are other models that hold, can hold five in the tube, and plus one equals six. But uh, up here in Connecticut, it might have to do something with some laws, or I'm not quite sure. But yeah, let's check it out, see how it goes. Yeah, very good. There's a nice trigger in it too. Not bad trigger. Very nice and crisp. Very not bad shotgun. Now it is shaped for three inch shells. I do have some. We're gonna throw them in there and see how they go. And um, I did shoot a couple beforehand and there's a big ass fireball that comes out of it. All right, so I got you some uh, three inch shells. Federal Double Law Buck, a three inch Magnum. All right. See the fireball coming out of that thing? Ooh. Especially with the light weight of the shock and you really feel it in your shoulder. It's gonna be <laughs> nice and sore But overall, this is not a bad shock and definitely if you have a limited budget It definitely uh, will help you there self-defense for home defense um, Hunting wise, maybe I really don't see this as a hunting gun, but um, Not bad at all. Uh, we're gonna take it back home take it apart uh, show you guys how to take it apart it's just like any other shotgun really but um show you the internals the locking mechanism in here uh pretty simple normal normal ass shotgun but just nice price and very lightweight one of the best features on this gun all right see you guys back Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here at the house from the range. We're gonna take, take a deeper look into the shock on Dixon's Commando. This is a um, very good shotgun, really for the price. $300 is not bad. Um, I mean, taking a look at it, outside features, uh, taking a look at the inside, all the guts. Uh, we won't take out the trigger guard, we just normal field strip. I'm gonna teach, teach all you guys how to take it apart. Very similar to all the other shotguns on the market really right now. So let's just get into it. So right here we have a nice rubber molded. It can not very nice feeling grip. Molds your molds to your hand very nicely. Um, helps helps with that recoil too. Nice rubberized. Uh, above that you have your safety. Cross being safety and normal safety. And you have your bolt release right here. Uh, Allows you to bring it back when you cock it. So, um, take out a round or if you have it in the chamber or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But it's what I like about this is that it's very big. Normal shotguns have a very small little mount. It's, it can be hard to find in stressful situations. This is very big, it's easy to find, you just hit it, perfect. So that's, that's one of the things I like about this shotgun. You have the very large handguard, 
which it does cover the loading gate when you have it all the way back. I have no problem with that. Some people do, I don't. Uh, then you have to tap the Pentania rail in the, in the front. So you put out a light laser, whatever you want on it. Uh, this will have a Pentania rail on the top for your uh, laser if you really want to. I mean, it's a shock. It's shock and the shotguns are. It's nice. I think we'll do fine. You have your heat shield, which is nice. Heat shields are great in case you ever put your finger on top of it, right where the grip is, basically. So it protects your hands right there. Um... It also, what I've been told, that it also uh, dissipates the heat. Why you have those heat waves coming out of the, come out of the barrel? Because shotguns do run hot. It makes it allow you to be able to see a lot better the sights. Nice sturdy stock, and the pad on the back of the stock is very nice. Ventilated looking little, little stock here absorbs a lot of the recoil, which is something very nice, especially for a light shotgun when you're shooting heavy loads like three inch ma uh, magnum. So. Let's take it apart, show you guys to take it apart. And, um, yeah, very simple looking more shotguns. You have your magazine tube nut on the top here. Just gonna unscrew that. Put it to the side. And then, you wanna bring this to half cock. Pull off the barrel. Now, especially in something with the heat shields, if you look closely right here, it says the word caution. Now, what this means is basically when you're putting this back together, and once you, if you think you're done, you, you want to look at the see this. If you can see this, you are not done. Uh, do not fire the gun. Do not use the gun if you can see this. You got to make sure the barrel's all the way in, and you can't see the word caution. That means the barrel's not seated all the way, and that means it will fire like this too. So you got to be very careful on that. The gun could blow up. So you always want to make sure that. This is all the way, the barrel's all the way in. It will function if the barrel's not all the way in. That's a bit of a downside, I think, especially for people who don't know better. So we're gonna put this aside. And simply, to take out the bolt, you're gonna bring the, the handguard all the way forward. Put this to the side. Take off the bolt. And there you go, here is your disassembly. Uh, very simple settings. This is Remington 870. Uh, look here. This is the bolt firing pin. Uh, locking neck, uh, locking lug, if you want to call that. Basically, it's 870. Here is... Oops, sorry about that. Here is your groove for your locking lug to get into. And this little nub right here. This little nub is your ejector. It, when it pulls it back, it's gonna, the round will hit it and inject out, just like that. Yeah, very, very simple. You have your, your muzzle brake choke combination here. It's in there for me, I'm sorry. It will come all the way out. There we go. Here it is. Let's put that back in. Yeah, and um, that's about it to the shock. I mean, it's not very complex. They offer a lot of other shotguns too as well. This model we have here in front of us is the XX3THS2 model. They have these three and along with all these other ones here too they do have models that don't have a solid stock they have a, a stock that does have shot shell holder whatever you want to call it um, which is nice this is one they have available at my gun shop and uh, to put it back together is just a uh, reverse so you just kind of take your bolt put it back on this assembly Feed it through your magazine tube. Bring it back. Hit this, unlocking it. Bring it to about half cock. And I can show this on camera.
and then just course it back into there. There we go. So as you see right here, the word caution is still available. Do not fire the gun like this. You want to push this down, heat shield down, and push it all the way in. See the word is no longer available, no longer uh, showing. This is good. This is how you want it. From then, from there, put the barrel nut back on, the uh, magazine tube nut back on, chain it down, and there you go. There you go. <laughs> All set. Um, that's about it for me to show you on this. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, see you guys later.